Hi YouTube, on today's video we'll be building two computers and this is a three-part video. This is part one where we'll start building the Sentry Plus computer as well as the Sentry 3.2 computer for the Dream Computer 3.0 Plus computer setup. We'll have different sections and their timestamps will be in the description below. We'll start with getting the parts, showing you all the parts that go into both of these computers as well as a speed build of the first computer all the way to the final result and sizzle drill by the end. Check those timestamps. So that means now I gotta build this computer. Here we go again. Let's go get ready and get these parts. For a good start, uh, where I always get my processor and motherboard is the Micro Center store and I have one near me in Fairfax. Also get other parts online and you have the description below which has the list of all the parts used in these computers and how to get them. We have affiliate links for everything in there. You're probably going to get the best prices. I did buy, and I mean I did um, search the best prices to link in the description below. Don't forget to check those, don't forget to check Amazon and here are the parts we have for both computers. These are on the right most of the new parts we're getting and on the left we have some of the parts we used already as well as a used video card which is the GTX, um, I believe it's the 760 in there as well as the RTX 2060 Super. These are the two systems we're building. This is the computer, the pre first case we have some fans pre-installed, we took out the motherboard, the motherboard is the Aorus Elite B450 using the Ryzen 2600X. We're also using the PCI card and the P1 Crucial 1TB storage as well as the 16GB uh, of RAM memory that is running at 3200Hz from Crucial. We're going to take these three fans and we we'll move it to the new system, to the new computer, as well as the RTX 2060 Super NVIDIA card that goes into the new system. And we're going to move the Aorus PCIe NVMe uh, SSD as well. What we're keeping here is the processor, we're adding a video card, the, uh, the GTX 960 or 760 rather, and the new computer we have the Ryzen 7 3700X, the Aorus Pro Wi-Fi X570 and the G-Skill Trident C 3600 MHz RAM memory cache latency 18. We're adding an NVMe drive M.2 Aorus that's a PCI 4 drive as well as the Quadro the Quadro card from PNY and an RGB 850 watts power spec a power supply to the new system and we're using the same case they're both the same case one is the S Lite one is just the S that comes with pre-installed RGB fans as the new case and we're gonna move some of the gamer store fan stuff so let's start with the first system let's take out the, the new parts let's keep some of the older parts the motherboard is new so we're replacing that let's take out the fans for now the gamer storm fans here we're gonna take those out and we're gonna keep the deep cool fans on the bottom and on top as well as we're gonna keep the power supply installed in this case. So this computer we're building right now, this is the Sentry Plus computer. It's gonna be used mainly for audio recording. It's gonna be a workhorse. It has a GTX 760 which main por the main purpose of this video card is to display use multiple displays so it's, it's gonna display into two monitors that's the main purpose it works from some light gaming and the CUDA course will help with occasion occasional video editing but it's mostly for video recording so what it really needs is need it needs lots of PCIe ports and it needs a good processor and memory which it has it has a 2600X 6 core processor, which is ideal for Cubase, it's a good value point. And it has 16 gigabytes of 3200 MHz memory, dual channel. That is gonna be installed into the motherboard later. The SSD is gonna be one terabyte, crucial P1 of storage as well. It's gonna use some extra uh, external hard drives 
is gonna use uh, some USB drives for storage and uh, backing up audio and projects, audio projects. It's gonna be connected also later on, we're gonna add a Firewire PCI card to it. And the video card will handle two monitors just fine. I said before, it's not heavy, heavy on RGB or heavy on gaming specs, but all the specs are up to par, including the video card handles gaming at 1080p, and I tried it for, for, with uh, some games for um, measure, uh, play project cards, it runs at 1080p, decent at uh, 50 frames per second, 45 frames per second, but it's mostly media, and to be more specific, audio production, and audio production ready machine. Right now, we installed the new fans that came with the case, those two black uh, fans that are going to work as uh, intake in this machine. Those two intake on the side of the motherboard, we're installing the motherboard right now. On the bottom, they're also intake. There's only one exhaust fan on the left. We're installing the motherboard and all the spacer, all, everything's in there. There's also one fan out there on the shroud, on the power supply shroud. That one also moves the flow of the air in a circular fashion. And the power supply you can see up there, it also has a fan directly held or in 90 degrees with the exhaust fan, the RGB, the LED fan on the left. Okay, now we're installing the M.2 drive, the P1 Crucial. We're trying to space it and find the best way to put it. We're getting the right parts for it. We stripped it of its sticker already. It had a sticker on top that had the branding. Let's put that screw in there and then we'll put the heat spreader that has a thermal pad on it. Okay, we're gonna do it right. We gotta get it just right. There we go. Now we got it. And now we show you the spreader. Here it has a sticker. We take it out. We put that on top. That's provided by the motherboard by Gigabyte. It's gonna keep the drive nice and cool. Now this is not a necessary step for most people. PCI 3 SSD drives, NVMe drives that are M.2 don't need that much uh, heat dissipation, but the PCI 4 do. PCI 4 do need heat spreaders. Now let's install the RAM. These are 16 gigabytes of RAM you skill. Um, which are um, dual channels. So the two of them, we gotta skip one of the sockets and the one full empty and then one full. We're installing the uh, headers, the audio LED headers on the computer from the case to the motherboard. This is the USB 3.0 header for the USB 3.0 connections on top of the case. This goes into the motherboard. Now we're proceeding to install the processor, the Ryzen 5 second generation 2600X. You gotta do that by looking into the processor, finding the arrow. There's an arrow, golden arrow, that has to line up with an arrow on the socket itself. You gotta line them up and then drop it really lightly. You don't wanna press on it or move it. And then you push on the lever and it's fine. Now we're gonna take out these brackets on the motherboard to install the cooler that comes with the Ryzen 5 2600X, the stock cooler when I'm using the the T700 Aorus air cooler, the aftermarket, we're gonna give away that one. Check the previous video of our giveaway. We have four giveaways running right now for whoever who subscribes and comments. Now we're putting thermal paste. We ran out of thermal paste. So in the middle of the build, we have to clean it again and install new thermal paste. We opted for doing both the X and the dot. So we made it the X and then we added a little bit in the middle. So it's the best cooling possible. Now we're about to install the cooler, the stock cooler that comes with the AMD processor. It's a very uh, decent cooler and it, it keeps, it, it proved to keep the CPU under normal temperatures. Pretty good at what it does. So I don't need an aftermarket cooler because I'm not technically overclocking it. So it's fine. I think it will do just fine with the video and the audio production. Now, someone has to hold the 
back side, the back plate for me while I screw these screws with springs on the front. Or you can install the processor first on the table and then insert the whole motherboard and install it all together. Now I just connected the uh, fan header cable, the power fan, PWM fan, and now we're connecting all the other connections. The, that connection is the fan connectors for all the other four deep cool fans. We're gonna have to connect the, the cables for the new two fans as well on the side of the board. Now it's time to insert the GTX 10760, sorry, the GTX 760 with two DVI monitor ports, one HDMI and one display port. And we also have this um, here, right there, we're installing the cable, the PCI power cable needs two of those. We'll get to that. And then also there's this little metal that comes with the case with the, this, um, this Roswell Prism S light is to hold the right end of the video card. Right now we're selling the PCIe AC56 Wi-Fi adapter with two antennas. It has a cable to two antennas, so it's a PCIe solution for dual channel Wi-Fi. Connecting, uh, installing the front cover, the back cover, everything is installed. That's nice, we installed already the motherboard power supply uh, cables and uh, like I said before this little metal that holds the video card helps it be holding the PCIe port and helps with the weight. We put in the front cover with the tempered glass and now we have our first system practically finished and installed. We'll take a closer look, we'll go ahead and check how it looks in general, that's the finished product. The only thing that's missing right now is the antenna that, goes, that connects externally to the PCIe Wi-Fi adapter. Let's take a closer look inside that glass, tempered glass panel. Let's connect the antenna, shall we? And then we can go ahead and connect the power cable and turn it on. Let's get this first. Oh, and there's one more thing we're gonna do to this system before we let it go. The antenna is connected. One more thing. Let's see this back side, the right side, the left side, the back side right now. You see the power supply, the motherboard I.O. Show the antenna for the Wi-Fi, the intake ports on the side, and now we're gonna install a 00x.com sticker on the side of it. There you have it, the Sentry Plus computer, which used to be the Sentry 3 computer on the Dream Computer 3.0 computer setup. Now let's see how the computer looks once we turn on the power. Let's see how it looks working and those fans moving. This is the side look on the left side. You can check the parts. You can see the red PCI card, the Wi-Fi, the three deep cool fans on the bottom which are intake the two Roswell fans on the side of the other wall also intake the AMD cooler on the inside of the Roswell case. Now let's turn on the power supply and let's turn on the computer and let's see what happens and voila it works everything is lighting up no error codes and we have the Sentry Plus computer. This fans change of colors. 
There's one more fan you don't see right now that's uh, next to the... It's on that power supply shroud. Here, you see that light? It's lighting. The light's coming down from the shroud to the non-RGB fans on the side. The intake fans. Is the power supply, the back of the computer, that's the exhaust fan, the IO shield, the video card IO, and the Wi Fi antenna, Wi Fi AC56 PCIe adapter. There you see the other fan, the other RGB fan on top, you know, shining down on the whole computer. You see the Aorus logo on the motherboard lighting up with that RGB, addressable RGB as well as the IO shield has its own RGB light in there next to that exhaust fan. AMD branding, that's the processor, the AMD 2600X and the motherboard. Now don't forget to check the other two parts of this video. The second part of the video will be building the Sentry 3.2 computer. On the third part that will be benchmarking the Sentry 3.2 as well as showing you and have a sizzle reel of the whole Dream Computer 3.0 plus setup. So you have that to look forward to. Don't forget to check our gaming section for more gaming videos, the Dream Computer section, as well as our music and original music videos at 00x or 00x on YouTube. Thank you for watching and peace.